Early on Wednesday, police smashed their way into a house in the Australian town of Carnarvon, where they found a four-year-old girl who had been missing for 18 days, Cleo Smith disappeared from her family's tent at a campsite near Carnarvon on October 16, triggering a massive search operation that a 36-year-old man is now in custody and being questioned by detectives. Here's what we know about case and what led police to Cleo. Cleo's family were on the first night of their holiday at the Quaba Blowholes camping ground when she went missing between 1.30 and 6 o'clock on 16 October. The remote site in McLeod is about 900 kilometers north of Perth, and is a local attraction on the state's coral coast, known for its windswept ocean scenery, sea caves, and lagoons. Cleo had been sleeping on an air mattress next to her younger sister's cot. When her mother, who had been sleeping in the second room of the tent, got up in the morning, Cleo was gone and the tent door was open, police said this raised fears of an abduction. Ms. Smith was adamant Cleo would not have left the tent on her own. A major search operation involving a task force of more than 100 officers was launched. Western Australia Deputy Police Commissioner Carl Blanche has described it as being like looking for a needle in a haystack. The search for Cleo covered land, sea, and air, with reconnaissance planes used to comb sparsely populated areas. ABC reporter Evelyn Manfield described the extensive search operation, saying police were up in the air, on horseback using drones to forensically map every area inch by inch looking for clues. Police even scoured through hundreds of bags of roadside rubbish along a 600-kilometer stretch of Western Australia. Authorities also offered a $8.1M reward for information on Cleo's whereabouts. Over the 18 days that Cleo was missing, police said they collected thousands of pieces of evidence intelligence data and witness statements deputy commissioner blanche described it as being a hard hard slog dot combined with some early information this was dogged methodical police work said commissioner chris dawson adding that the team had worked their way through every lead possible police have not revealed the exact details of what led them to the locked house in carnarvon where they found Cleo alive and well. Commissioner Dawson told reporters really important information about a car helped direct police to the house, but has not elaborated on what this was. He and other officers have also stressed that a number of forensic clues were vital in finding the missing four year old. Deputy Commissioner Blanche said phone data also played a key role. It's a big jigsaw, you know, everything contributed, he said. There were lots of things, that when we put the puzzle together, it all led to one place, and that's where we found Cleo. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.